Why forever? So hi guys, we're here in Balamban, in Gaas Balamban because we're gonna check out a newly opened adventure camp called Evo Nature Camp. And yes, today is the blessing day and we're gonna you know, explore and see what what can we do in, the, in this new adventure camp in So check out this video to learn more about Evo Nature Camp. You buy me dinner Let's say I let you meet my friends Let's say I let you have I let you have my number Well I guess this time I didn't stand a chance Oh no I'm not in love, I'm not in love oh. But you know, you cannot resist a place like this. Asa ka magkita sa mga pumusta ng bini na bini na upgrade ng mga kunti. Sakdun, sakdun yung buwan, unmun, kiting pumawa na nitabo na pumili sa kusina, kuluto, na ang fag mo agi, kung maligi kung mamuyat ka, ano ano dito ni mo to, bisukto, sumulti ka, yung ato sumulti ni kagus. Asa ka kita ng mga nita na hon, mga nga ambien. And this is the only place in Cebu, I think, where you can see lots of pine trees around. That's where mga pako, sa mga nang di kami nila. Now, hindi na naman makikita sa sudat, hindi na naman tubo ang magkakano. Sa isang bugaw ang hangin, hindi na naman tubo. Let me give you kayo ang atong hangin. Sa Gaas, all these new interesting places na sprouting here in Gaas because the place sells itself. So I am confident, uh, Edwin, that uh, Evo will, will uh, be another success. And that's our food, and that's our view. Nature camp is a sprawling outdoor recreational venue. I say sprawling because you know you can see the mountains around. It offers a nice view of uh, flowers, trees, and um, I'd say it's a venue for recreational outdoor sports or activities because then it offers activities like mainly trekking and camping. If you go down with her, then <laughs> okay, oh, oh, with her, oh, okay, 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 if you go down there, if you go down below, 10 minutes away, there is a creek which you pass. Um, you can take a 15 minute walk in that creek and it leads you to a mount, I mean, to a mouth of a cave where you can stay for like 30, 45 minutes inside. Okay, so that's called um, the Ilihan Cave. Um, through that, if you wanna go further, you can take a trek a little upper trek a little further for 25 to 30 minutes walk it leads you to a rock formation which they call ground zero 
They call it ground zero because you see a marker there from the DNR which marks that it is the center of Cebu. Oh. I don't know how accurate they are, but they say that it's a rock formation that tells you you are the center of Cebu. Um, I brought a friend there once who's also a mountain climber and he said it probably could be more accurately called um, the center where it crosses um, because you can see Toledo from there, Cebu City, and Balamban. Balamban. So it can be the intersection of all three. But, uh, but they also say the center of Cebu. Alright, so the tour, if you just go trekking back to here, can take you around two and a half hours. Okay, so that's just one of the activities you can do. Um, the other things we, we intend to put up here, or we're doing now, is more camping and glamping. Right. Glamping, which stands for glamorous camping, all right, is the kind of putting up the big tents with nice beds. You don't have to crawl in with probably um, food on the side or a little refrigerator. But here, since it's already cold, you just plan to put up nice tents with nice beds, all right, fruits to go with it, and some snacks. Anyway, there's a grill here that offers food if you want to eat all the time. So we will <coughs> offer these glamping activities. Um, related to that is camping. Camping um, is requires a huge venue, huge requires requires a, a, a huge place, especially if your school, you no, know, who wants to go out camping, where you would require fifty or a hundred tents to be pitched. So. On that area on the left will be our camping site okay and we intend to market that to schools because before there were schools who've been calling us looking for venues where they can hold summer camps and all that now we are fortunate that um, our architect and one of the people who are guiding us with such things is the founder of uh, Habagat okay his name is Randy Sue and which is synonymous to outdoor activities. All right, so um, they intend to put up some more activities here like a, like a summer camp wherein they would offer it to, to kids who would want to um, have activities like camping or learning on a lot more outdoor activities, trekking, camping, building fires out of uh, um, out of friction um, um, rap rappelling and all that we can offer that here such activities we're in the top oh, the fog. Um, i'm happy to point out that um yeah be, being I mean, you know, we have that trust and i'm happy to point out that we planted already around forty-five thousand flowers in 2500 uh, pine trees and the pakok, the pakok the fern. Oh. Yeah. Um, for me, that is a very important plant. It's, it's a fern. It's a fern. Yeah. 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 And, um, I was in New Zealand two years ago, and actually, if you see the logo of New Zealand, it's like that kind of a <laughs> that kind that kind of a fern. Why? Because it connotes cleanliness. That kind of fern, if you plant to, if you plant it in the city, which I tried doing, it does not survive. It does not survive in an atmosphere that is not clean. So that is, in a way, a plant that can tell if the atmosphere or the area you're in has air that you want to breathe in or not. All right, and the advantage of that is you can plant it right away while it is already tall. So uh, what we intend to do, going to the to uh, ground zero, we intend to plant hundreds of that along the way, along the way. So it easily grows. I like the pine tree, which still takes like three years to four years before it can grow to like 10 feet or 15 feet. So that is the nice thing I like to say about this place because probably the next time you come back here, I hope you come back here uh, sooner. Yeah. When I you come will. back here like three years from now or four years from now, this will be filled with pine trees all around. Because so far we planted 2,500 of those.
I'd like to invite um, all of you to take a visit or just stay with us here at Evo Nature Park. We're a sprawling place with outdoor panoramic view of the mountains and the gardens and all the best that, nature's offer, that nature offers you. We'd like to invite you to to um, take advantage of the activities we, we have here, especially uh, trekking, camping, and outdoor activities you and I can help design or even think of. See you here sometime. Quite beautiful, guys. So if you happen to look for a place where you can have a camping, trekking, and other activities, why not? Check out Evo Nature Camp here at Gas Balamban, guys. Gas Thank hills, you so right? much for watching and yeah if you're looking for hills to to take someone yes <laughs> hello jason yes this is one perfect spot so thank you so much for watching guys and see you on our next adventures